with my students, especially working in emotional disturbance, one of the things that we try and get them to do is kind of regulate their own behavior. So something that we always do is always, when they're engaging in problematic behaviors, we try and ask them, is this something that you might want to do in this situation? So we always want them to have more autonomy in the way that they regulate and control themselves. What we do in the classroom in order to promote self-discipline is the contract card. On the contract card is how the student is able to self-evaluate themselves on how their behavior was. So they're able to see what are the things that they need to be able to work on, what are the things that they did right. Because we don't want to just focus on what they're not doing, but we want to make more emphasis on what they are. We have uh, star folders at our school. It's a school-wide um, classroom management tool and it's students taking accountability and responsibility. So the students are told that they are responsible and accountable for the choices that they make. So let's say they're talking during a lesson and I would give them a warning, whether that's either verbal or just a look. <laughs> and if they make the choice to continue talking, then I would simply ask them for their star folder and they would get their folder and stick it on my desk and then sometime later in the day I'll just put ET for excessive talking and then at the end of the week the star folders go home and they're, it's a, also a communication tool for their parents to see you know do they have any missing assignments how is their behavior in class but it's also a tool for the students to take accountability for it and say yes I made these choices and how they can either improve or keep doing well in the following week.